Pope Francis arrives Tuesday for a six-day visit to the United States. The Pope's first visit to America will take him to New York City, Washington, and Philadelphia. He'll meet President Obama at the White House Wednesday, address a joint session of Congress on Thursday, and meet with the United Nations General Assembly. We're talking now about the significance of the Pope's visit today with Milwaukee Archbishop Jerome Lestecki. Archbishop, it's good to have you on the program. Hey, well, thank you, Mike. It's good being here. You're going to have a chance to, to, to see the Pope. We will. Um, the way the itinerary is planned, um, uh, many of the bishops will be accompanying their, um, uh, their pilgrims to the uh, World Congress on the Family in Philadelphia. So I'll fly with a, a number of Milwaukeeans down mm -hmm. to, um, uh, uh, to Philadelphia. But then with their, what the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops will do is they have a special train car that we will get on, and they're going to take us up to Washington. Um, and in uh, St. Matthew's, uh, we will be meeting with, uh, with the Pope. What would you like to see come uh, from this visit, by the way? Well, I think uh, I've, I've, I've already seen it, um, you know, the, uh, and that's basically the, what you always want to see is the high energy. And you've seen many people kind of the excitement of, uh, of this man who has seemed to have, ca have captured the, um, uh, uh, the Yederman, the everyman. Man. You know, he, is, he seems to be identified as, uh, as the person who um, suddenly is your next door neighbor or uh, the, the person who sits in the pew uh, with you or uh, has the common touch, if you want. And, and what that means then is when you see somebody like that who is a leader, then in your own life you understand, I don't have to be the great leader. I don't have to be the, uh, the one carrying. I just do the, the, the right things for my neighbor, and, I, and that is what kind of elevates my faith. He's been, uh, he has been remarkably well received, not just by Catholics, but right. by others. And, and you think it's because of that common touch that he I has? I do. I think, it's, I think a, a lot of it is because of that common touch. He's a, um, you know, you, to use the term, he's a man of the people. And when, when they see this, and some of the, the, the demonstrative things that he's done, like getting in an old Renault car, you know, and, and driving when he, he could have been in the limousine. When I was in um, uh, the World um, uh, Youth Day down in Brazil, uh, in Rio, uh, there was this one time where the, the Pope was being taken around the Pope mobile, and he was kind of elevated, and he's reaching out to people here. And there was a young man who came in and apparently wanted him to have a t shirt. So he rolls up the t shirt, and he comes right up near the Pope, and he throws it, and he hits the Pope right square in the chest. Everybody's security, holding yeah. their breath. Security's going nuts. They're going crazy, and he holds the shirt up and holds it up, type of thing. You know, uh, yeah, he's a man of faith. He's a believer, you know, and, and people see that, and he's not going to let anything stop him from, from basically demonstrating his love for, uh, for the community. Do you think there'll be any politics on this trip? Because oh, I know no. people. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. No, politics? <laughs> no. Are you kidding? No. Politics. I mean, do you think he'll talk about issues that he has talked about, whether well, it's, I, it's, it's, it's think, climate change or well, whether I, it's you know, uh, capitalism sure. or whatever? Now, now, take a look at climate change, you know, and, and we're talking about having the everyman touch. What's really important to our young people as they go around, uh, and here, they're, they're worried about the environment. They are. Now, you know, we, we can argue and sit here to talk about what causes the, you know, but there obviously is a, a type of climate change, whether it's due to the aging of the earth, whether it's due to, you know, a carbon footprint, or whatever else we're, we might be talking about there, but you, you do sense a change. And our younger people, you know, maybe a mm -hmm. little more gray-haired like us, you know, Mike, we we would kind of say, well, that, that might not be our problem, you know, that we have to face. But our younger people are going to say, well, what about our families? What about us in the future? What, will we be able to have the uh, basically environment? So in Laudato Si, which, he, um, uh, which he, he wrote, you know, he, he started to address, you know, basically, uh, basically an environment, our responsibility for our appreciation for the environment. So, you know, this is a, these are problems, uh, the, the common touch, you know, uh, uh, that he has. So, yes, I think there'll be that. That'll talk. I think he's going to talk about the refugee situation, yeah. uh, you know, because I, I, obviously we see, you know, not, uh, in Europe now, the refugee situation. We see the immigrant situation here in the, uh, the United States. And as a as a religious leader, you can't deny. Uh, you want him to speak out about that. You'd sure. like to hear that. You can't. Well, I think he will because he is. He's a. I'm a pastor. He's a pastor, and I think that's one of the the great uh, attributes that he, he possesses. So he he knows that this is uh, uh, this has our imagination. You know, we talk about the United States. We're talking what 11, 12 million, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, immigrants here that. Um, how, somehow, you know, you, 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 you want to find some type of resolution, you know, for, for the community here, understanding, you know, others, 
um, you know, uh, other problems that are there. You understand the security of the border that has to be uh, in place, but you want some some resolution, some some kind of sense. He's a he's a he's a Catholic Christian leader, so you, the, the gospel has a mandate. I can see that uh, this is an exciting moment for you, for for any Catholic. For I any suppose, Catholic, yeah, I, yeah and for, uh, for me in particular, I've been fortunate enough to um, uh, to have met and been in the presence of the, the last two popes. This one, you know, briefly in Rio, um, you know, with him. So the energy that uh, that, that gravitates around him, you know, uh, whether it be in Europe or Latin America or Africa, is certainly um, a, a real sign of the uh, the awakening of the spirit in us. Milwaukee Archbishop Jerome Listecki, have a great trip. Hey, well, thank you very much. Yeah, Mike. thanks Thank very you. much for being on the program. Coming up next, the other big election news in Wisconsin.